Because it's cutting the side of it. Hmm? Oh, it's no, gonna it's go cool. all the way around and then cut from the back. Uh, so it goes over the book. Okay. It cuts from the back. That was a thing in the back giving the heat to the fire. Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about some of the stuff that still needs to be improved with this machine. Uh, one of the key issues is the rigidity of the base. 
there's a little bit too much slack between the bearing wheels on the horizontal railing and it causes it to shift back and forth a bit along with that I also still need to add some conduit for the wires so that they don't get stuck together a lot of times when they overlap it causes the end stops to falsely trigger and one of the issues with that is that they're configured to be normally open and I've read around a lot that it really needs to be configured to normally closed in case one of the wires ends up breaking or part of the uh, PCB burns out then it'll trigger the in stop as being uh, as being activated so it stops the machine from breaking anything along with this this motor needs to be moved out to the side a bit because when the vertical gantry is all the way down the pulley is actually going at about 30 degree angle off to the side and it causes a loss of resolution there um, these holes on the sliding plate for the horizontal gantry they were for additional bearing wheels but the V groove on the side actually holds the plate up enough that I'm just going to remove these that way I can move the motor out to the side a bit along with this the um, the vertical gantry right here is only held on either side uh, it's not held on the back or the front relative to the wire and that's causing a bit of the flexibility here as well and then there's also some flexibility on the vertical gantry where it can shake a bit so that just needs to be a bit tighter to improve rigidity there those are a lot of the the main issues a lot of it's just dealing with rigidity of the system to get a smoother cut uh, also on the bottom the plate that holds the pulley on the bottom isn't tall enough so the pulley rubs onto the plate on the top side and I think I can pick it up and show so back here the pulley's actually rubbing up in the gap so I need to extend this plate down some along with that I also need to I'm working on building a workbench in the garage that way I can move this out of the room and then along with the workbench I'm gonna build a table to uh, a small table to place the foam on top of that way I have a good zeroing position for the foam work pieces because right now a lot of the a lot of the extra air in the cut is based on how it's placed and the fact that placing the books on top of the carpet it, the foam work piece isn't completely level that's been causing some issues where the wire might come out of the foam on one side but not on the other just because the foam is actually angled and I think that's majority of the issues right now also the the base plate the wooden base plates I put the the CNC wire cutters on uh, they're not perfectly flat and they've definitely warped a lot more since I picked them up from the store it's pretty cold right now here in Iowa and I think I think the cold might be one of the reasons why they're warping so much but the idea with this was uh, I just screwed in so that I know that the relative placing between the two the two gantries and then I can always put more holes to get the get the wire cutters closer together if I want to do like fuselage cuts but for right now I'm gonna I'm gonna remove all of these from the sliding plate that might give me room to put one more leg on the back side just under the motor when I move the motor out and then moving these closer together and then another thing I wanted to look into was replacing the spring tensioner with a pulley tensioner that attaches up here because I've seen another youtuber Nathan Knight he ended up replacing his spring tension system with a pulley tension system so that he could get larger tapered cuts and it seems like a much more elegant solution than 
using the springs because the springs only have a finite amount that they can move and as they keep stretching it keeps applying more force to the gantry but a, a pulleyed weight would have a constant force until it ends up hitting the top so the amount you can offset it by is just how long the string on the pulley is until it reaches the top pulley but that's all the all the fixes I have in mind right now uh, I might find some more issues and address them later. Oh yeah, also uh, I was going to add some grooves into this. That way I can just tension the horizontal pulley by sliding the motor back until it's tight and then tightening it. So that was another thing I was going to improve. Because it's just hand tensioned right now with a tensioner spring put on afterwards. Same with this one. It's just the tensioning spring and it's not as tight as I would like yeah so that's all the all the things I'm addressing and then in the future changing this to normally closed which I might just have to solder these wires straight to the switch and ignore the PCB altogether but yeah that's everything thanks for watching see y'all later